Today's lesson is from the Within Word Pattern Spellers Unit, sort number 19. We'll be looking at the long O spelling patterns. We have the silent or magic E, the vowel pair OA, and an open syllable OW and OE. Before we get started, let's read through our word list just so we know uh, how each of these words sounds. I'm going to start in the first column uh, with the word show, globe, grow, roast, ho, oat, wrote. We'll jump up to the middle column. Froze, toe, shoe, whose, doe, foe, Mo, Rome, and then the last column starting with coach, slow, blow, snow, throw, close, no, and loaf. Our first two spelling patterns here may be familiar to lots of you. We have froze with the magic or silent E, and then we have coach, the vowel pair O-A. Now, these are spelling patterns when the O sound is in the middle of the word. If the long O sound comes at the end of a word, we have O-W and O-E, and sometimes we actually have just an O, like in the word yo-yo but that's not one of our spelling patterns for this week. So we'll just get rid of that one. Now we have a few words here that we want to uh, review the meanings of. Uh, the word close or close can be read two different ways. When we talk about closing a door, the word ends with a Z sound, close. And the word can also end with an S sound and say close. And there's a couple of different meanings for close. Uh, we have uh, a close friend, and we also have close in terms of being very close to somebody. The word coach can be a large uh, vehicle that moves a lot of people, similar to a bus or a fancy bus or a coach. You see here like a teacher or a coach of a sports team. Foe is another word for an opponent or an enemy. And roam is another word that means to wander. Now we have a couple of oddball words here we want you to take note of. Uh, the first is whose. This one looks like it should have a long O sound there. Uh, with a silent E at the end, whose, ooh, we actually get an ooh sound. And so even though it looks like it should be a long O, we have an ooh sound instead. The second oddball word is shoe. Again, looks like that uh, long O spelling pattern, O-E at the end of the word, uh, but with that ooh sound. Let's take a look at these words and we can uh, spend a few minutes sorting them into their proper uh, categories. All right, our first word here is the word do, d o. We hear that o at the end of the word, so we know it's going to be an o e or an o w spelling pattern. In this case, do has the o e. Okay, uh, this word do would refer to a deer. The next word is ho, a ho that you might use in the garden. O, that O coming at the end again, letting us know it's O-E or O-W as a spelling pattern. Fo, meaning enemy or opponent. F o, O coming in at the end of the word with that O-E spelling pattern. Now we have close or close, clo, both have that long O sound. Remember this one 
could be pronounced with a Z or an S sound at the end, depending on the meaning. You close the door, or you might be close to somebody else. And so we see the magic E or silent E there. Our next one is oat, O, T, the vowel pair O, and we have the T at the end. So uh, we know it's going to be uh, in our vowel pair column. Our next word is mo, m o, o at the end. It's either o e or o w. In this case, an o w. No, n o with a silent k. With the k and n together, uh, we don't enunciate the k, k there. But uh, this one gives us the word no. So to know something. Our next word is rote, r-o-t. We hear that long sound between the consonants and that magic E at the end. Rome, vowel pair. Loaf, l-o-f. We have that consonant sound at the end. And we have a vowel pair. Froze, we can see the magic E. Coach, k o ch, of a vowel pair. Show, sounds like no. And toe, with that o e, the o sound at the end of the word. Slow, slow. Again, the o sound at the end of the word. Globe, back to the middle with this one, with the magic e. Shoo, sh, oo, hmm. Well, that's an oo sound, not an o sound, even though it looks like uh, it has the long o spelling pattern. So we're going to put this one over in the oddball. I'm going to put it next to the word show. And the reason there is sh, o, that long o, and sh, oo, that looks like it should be an o, just so you can see the difference. Uh, in spelling between those two words. Our next one here is blow, the O-W. Grow, O-W again. Who's, who, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was that oddball one again, back with the oo sound, even though it looks like it would be a long O. Snow, O-W. We'll just keep stacking these up here. Roast, we have O in the middle of the word and our vowel pair. And then throw, throw. And that's going to be uh, over here in our OW. Again, it's hidden on you just because of how many OW spelling patterns we have. And that is our lesson for this week.